Today, resource-rich countries present significant challenges in the fight against poverty. In fact, the proportion of poor people in the world living in these resource-rich countries is increasing. Corruption is a key reason for this. Corruption weakens governance, trust, and the prospects for sustainable development. Over time, national and international efforts have tackled corruption by promoting transparency, accountability, or participation. TAP. However, evidence on their effectiveness is inconclusive. What is preventing TAP initiatives from tackling corruption more effectively? What TAP strategies work best in the natural resource space? These are the questions we, the LTRC program, addressed in the TAP Plus approach to anti-corruption in the natural resource value chain, our foundational paper. We synthesized information from more than 650 publications on the effectiveness of TAP initiatives. We specifically looked at the contextual factors that contribute to the success or shortcomings of TAP interventions and how to manage them. Here is what we found. First, TAP initiatives often focus on either transparency, accountability, or participation, relying on overly simplistic theories of change. They are designed based on significant assumptions, ignoring context and political economy. This leads to implementation gaps and underperformance. Second, throughout the literature, there are five context dimensions that are consistently present when explaining limitations in the effectiveness of TAP initiatives. Capture, rule of law, trust and conflict, government effectiveness, and civic space and media freedom. Third, TAP initiatives seem to perform better when they complement existing efforts, tackle implementation gaps, are designed with context in mind, and contribute to building a supportive ecosystem. This is the TAP Plus approach to anti-corruption, identifying and prioritizing solutions that address missing elements of the ecosystem we are pursuing, given constraints or windows of opportunity offered by the context. Finally, to operationalize the approach, it is necessary to build strong, inclusive coalitions of diverse stakeholders at local and global levels. How can the TAP Plus approach be used to fight corruption? The TAP Plus approach can be used by government, civil society, and the private sector to coordinate and organize action against corruption in the extractive sector and beyond. When we discuss its application with partners, we explore together the limitations of existing efforts against corruption. Then, stakeholders identify gaps in the system that need to be addressed and discuss what can be done considering the prevailing context. TAP Plus as a framework allows to leverage evidence and learning and channel them for action in the discussion of policy. It can be used to mobilize around multi-stakeholder commitments, anti-corruption national processes, or global initiatives. The spirit of the approach is to move beyond questions such as what works, and instead look at how can things work better under the current conditions. And when context is not conducive to change, how do we prepare for windows of opportunity for those reforms.